Hello guys, what's up? I'm Mohamed Fad, back with another video about programming. In today's video, I'm gonna be walking you guys through a drawing program with my new setup. As you can see, I've got myself a new and improved setup for making these videos for you guys. So without further ado, let's jump right into the drawing program. Now, before we get into the program, let me tell you one note. So this project is not for absolute beginners. So you kind of have to know a little bit about programming. And also the language that we are gonna be using for this tutorial is gonna be one of my favorite languages, which is Python. And that was it for the introduction. And without further ado, let's jump right into the explanation. Alright guys, for this project, I'm gonna be using the Python library Pygame and it's really useful for you to learn it because uh, not only you can design 2D games with it, but also you can design your own applications. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Now, if you don't have this module installed in your laptop, it's pretty simple. You just open up CMD, you can type pip install Pygame. And by using this command, the Pygame library will be installed in your computer. You just hit enter and wait for it. And as you can see, I've already installed it. And you can tell that uh, by the fact that it says uh, requirement already satisfied. So yours should go ahead and download it unless you already have it installed. So now let's jump right into our uh, project here. Now the way I'm going to be doing this project is pretty simple and kind of sketchy, but it's good for making the point of this video and uh, teaching you guys. So I'm gonna make a window with a color of white and we're gonna be drawing like small circles in it. And if we want to erase it, we just draw uh, more circles, but in the color which our window is in. For example, if we make a window with the white color, we can use white circles to uh, erase things that we've already written. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first step is going to be importing the library that we've just installed, which is Pygame. So to make this happen, in Pygame, we have to define a main loop. And it's going to be a while loop, which will go ahead and run and run and run. And this will eventually uh, enable us to check the user's input like every millisecond to be able to interact with them. So first thing I'm going to do is defined a couple of variables. One of them is the screen size. And I'm going to define it as width and give the value of 700 to it. Feel free to change all these variables for you and explore this awesome library. Now I'm going to define the window that we're going to be drawing. So it's going to be pygame.display.set underscore mode. And it's a function. And it's going to take the width that we've given it. And I'm going to give it one more time. Now, what I'm doing currently here is that uh, I'm making a square window. Uh, the first one, I believe, is the width. And the second one is the height. Uh, maybe it's uh, the reverse. It's uh, maybe the uh, other way around. But you can change these, all, all these variables and explore. So uh, with this comment here, I've successfully defined my window. And I just have to use more functions to display it. So as I said, we're gonna need a while loop to handle all this stuff. So I'm gonna define them, not in capital, I'm gonna define them a method, which is called main, and it's basically my main loop. And I'm gonna give the value win and width. Now, if you, know, if you guys don't know all this stuff, just don't worry about it. As I said in the beginning of the video, you have to know a couple of, uh, some rough idea about my, uh, programming and stuff. So it's, uh, this is like a basic function. And if you don't know this, uh, it's uh, totally fine and you can just follow through it and I'll be explaining it. So here I've defined my function here. I'm gonna define a variable called run and give, it, give the true value at the beginning. Then I'm gonna make my while loop and I say uh, while run. So my run value here is gonna be uh, the way to turn the while loop on or off, to exit it or not exit it. So in pygame, we do it like this. We say for event in pygame dot event dot 
get. Now this function is gonna gather all the events that happen during running our program. So for the first thing, I'm gonna say if event dot type equals equals to pi game dot quit. Now essentially what we're saying here is that when uh, we're exiting the program, do these. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna turn the value variable run into false. And this will exit our while loop. And I'm gonna exit our pi game here. Pi game dot quit. So if you are out of this while loop here, we wanna quit the uh, game, uh, essentially the window here. So we, I, I use the pi game dot quit. And then quit. And that's it. Oh guys, sorry, I've completely forget I was spelling the pie game uh, like this and it's basically run, it's pie game. Sorry for that. All right, so I'm gonna run it one more time and see what happens. And as you can see, we've got the error and the error says that in this line, oh, sorry, I had to give it as a tuple. So I'm gonna put it in another parenthesis and we should be good to go if I can do that. And we should be good to go. Now, if I run it, you see a window just pops up and it closes really quickly. And it's because we haven't even draw our window. So the next step is gonna be to define our draw function. So for defining our draw function, I'm gonna just say define draw here, and I'm gonna give the uh, variable win and the width. And now I'm gonna use the uh, pygame stuff to define this. So I'm gonna say win.fill it's going to be a color. Now we will define that color. And the next step is going to be pi game dot display dot update. And that will update our uh, display as we call this function. Now we have to define a couple of colors that we're going to be using. So I'm just going to copy those out from the code I've already written because it's gonna take time. So you may want to pause the video and look at it and write these uh, colors down. And these are essentially uh, RGB values that uh, you can really get easily from the internet and you can change all these uh, based on your, based on what you like. So I'm gonna say, uh, call that function here, draw, and I'm gonna say win and width. And at this end here, I'm going to call my main function as well. So we can run it and see what would happen. All right, I've got all of my stuff here. Now I just have to add a pygame display.update over here. So pygame.display.update. And boom. Now if I run it, hopefully we won't get any error. Oh, so I, uh, we have to change this uh, parameter color over here and put our own color as we have defined above. Uh, I'm gonna use the white to fill the entire screen. So now if I run it, or I've accidentally put in parentheses over there. So now if I run it, we won't get any uh, error finally. And here is our window. And as you can see, uh, it's a 70 by 70 pixel uh, window as we have defined over here. And as you can see, it's a uh, little bit white. Now, if I uh, change the white color to like something like black and run it again, you'll see that our uh, window over here is now in black, which is fascinating and shows how great and useful this library is. Now that was the easy part, that was like the setup stuff, and now we're gonna get into the some kind of more advanced. So as I said, for this program, when you click in a point in your screen, uh, the mouse is gonna turn that point into the color you uh, want. So uh, it's gonna draw a circle with the color you want and put it over there. So I'm gonna define that color over here. So I'm gonna define, draw, circle 
and I'm gonna give the win value into it, the pause, and the color. And now I'm gonna use the pygame function to draw a circle. Pygame dot draw dot circle. And it's gonna take a few parameters for us, so I'm gonna give it into it. The first parameter that it is going to ask us is uh, where do you want to draw this circle in? So we're gonna draw it in our window. Now the next one is gonna be the color that we want to use, and I'm gonna essentially say the color, and we're gonna give it in into our function. And the next one is the position that wants the uh, that we want the circle to be drawn on, which I'm gonna give it as well. And, and finally, the size that we want it to be in, so I'm gonna just say 10 for now. And that makes our uh, draw center uh, function over here. And I'm gonna use some uh, Pygame functions to see when our mouse is clicked to uh, do the action that is needed. So in here, in our for loop, I'm gonna say if pygame.mouse dot get pressed zero and what this means here is that uh, we are saying this button so um, index zero is the left button index one is the middle button and index two is the right button so i've got that working over here now go to the next line and say the position uh, is equal to pi game dot mouse dot get pause and what that means is that it's just a real simple and I'm um, misspelling this pi game now this function is a really easy and basic function for pi game uh, which will return the value of the uh, mouse that you have, uh, which is in your window that you have drawn. So, Nick that's that. Now, if this happens, what we want to do is we want to draw a circle in that position. So, I'm going to call the draw circle function and pass the values that it needs. First value is going to be the window, the second value is going to be pause, and the third one is going to be, let's say, black. Now I'm going to run it. I forgot to change the field color. I'm going to turn the field color to white so you can see it. Now if I press in the screen, you see that uh, little black dots are created. And if I just hold the mouse button and move my mouse around, you see that we kind of have a drawing screen. And it's really fascinating. And that's basically half of our projects being done. And as you can see, we can draw and do everything we want in this screen. And we can close it as well. So that's really good. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Don't forget that we're going to continue this and build up a really awesome project. And we will essentially use object-oriented programming and stuff like that. And we will be able to change the color of our brush and change its size and much cooler stuff. So stay tuned for that. And I didn't want to uh, continue this video and not, uh, I didn't want to make it really lengthy because uh, I thought it would become uh, boring for you. So I thought to myself, let's leave the rest for the another video and I'm going to post that really soon. And uh, don't forget, if you don't want to miss that out, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn the post notification on so that you get notified when I post a new video. I really hope you enjoyed and you've learned something new and if you did consider subscribing as I said and give this video a thumbs up so I know you've enjoyed it. So thanks for watching and have a nice day. 